Hi, Long Cat is Long. I really love your handle, and that's the only thing I like about you. Um, for everybody else, Long Cat asked me today, why didn't you comment on my 30-minute video more? Because I left some comments in his video channel, uh, for which the other little cult drones, cult, cult, cult drones, um, are like, oh, now Piro's going to spam you. I got one of them saying, you should answer me more. The other one's going, well, your answers are just spam. Why do you answer? You guys are fucking confused in the nutcase category of craziness, right? Fuck, you are hypocritical in 30-second periods. <laughs> you, you child molester, we shouldn't insult each other. Oh, my God. So he asked me. So I didn't remember. I was like, oh, okay, I will answer because when people specifically ask me to answer, I, I tend to answer even if it's lame. The reason I didn't answer this video, it turns out, is because it's just a copycat video. It's just a bunch of, here's info from Gary I learned. I wanted to share them with you, Piro. Yeah, you are a fucking moron. I am really... Now, let me make one thing clear. I'm going to say things about you and about these Ethelist followers. They don't apply to Gary. Gary's a bit different than you guys. How he's arrived and how he takes it is a bit different. For example, you guys are, all seem like fairly coddled, uh, spoiled people. Like, Mommy, there's no cherry on my ice cream. Life isn't worth living. I'll just eat this ice cream first before I go. And Gary isn't like that. Okay, he'd be a real jerk, but he's not like that. And when I'm, you know, making a judgment, I, I use things like that. So, uh, this is going to be a long video, I guess, because I have 11 minutes and 42 seconds of your uh, ridiculous video uh, noted. So, let's start at the beginning, a minute and 50 seconds in. And they're just saying. They're just using ad hominem insults at Gary, accusing him of being a cult leader, and accusing him of being a Holocaust denier, and saying he's a misanthrope and he's suffering from depression, and he can go through every single fucking one in the run of the mill. Oh, he's like ugly, he's crazy, and I'm like, because it was a, we can comment on his appearance or whatever. Okay, so wow, that really doesn't. Well, except for the one little fact that I don't do that. I don't call Gary a Holocaust denier, never have. I don't call him clinically depressed or anything like that. The closest is that in Stick'em I've discussed with Gary anxiety disorders and these kinds of things, and we have discussed that. But you just haven't noticed, huh, long cat with your super intellect, that I don't call Gary those names. I don't put those tags in my thing. He does to me, he puts child molester in his tags when he's responding to me and drunk and blah 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 and you can now make a video totally missing point and go, well you are child molester and you are drunk and you are blah 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 That's not the point. The point is, I haven't done that. I have not cast those. What what insult of Gary am I, am I well known for? Right? Like, everybody knows Gary's called me a child abuser, child molester and a million other things. It's familiar. So what is the well-known thing that I call Gary? Would you do that? What would that be? You are such an idiot. You can't even tell what you're watching through your own fucking eyes, man. God, this was annoying watching this. I really... It was annoying that I decided, oh, what's the whole thing and answer it before I watch it because I'm not sure I watched it through the first time because it's a piece of shit. You don't think for yourself. You're a perfect example of what I was talking about. Everything you said in this fucking video has been said before better by Gary and others just echoing. Okay, let's go into three minutes here. Is there to say he's a phantasmagorical Piro and so that's all the insult I need, basically. What does that mean? <clears throat> what And why do you need that insult? And what does that mean? I'm college educated in physics, and I've studied a lot of physics, and I have experience in science, so I don't know what you're talking about, phantasmagorical, and I don't care. Please, successfully label me phantasmagorical, and all you're going to do is improve the reputation of phantasmagorical, because it'll mean scientifically educated. So if you want to call Alan Watts and me phantasmagorical, all you're going to do is make Alan Watts 
seem more rooted in physical reality. I really don't care. You understand? I do not care about. It. And you misunderstand in this whole video. You try, you know, and you actually say, "Don't be butthurt about the insults." I'm not. I'm still not. I didn't suddenly get butthurt about being called a child abuser or a child molester after fucking four years of being called that. I'm pointing out why when Gary and you guys, especially you guys, because I kind of like Gary, but you guys are, like, disgusting. You, you are fucking sick of you. Okay? And yeah, I have been treating you with kid gloves because I don't go, you know, like if one of you is afraid and self-conscious about his hair loss, I don't go, man, you're going bull. I don't do that. Gary does. You do. Okay, so you are being treated with kid gloves. But you don't have to realize that or ever know it. I don't do it for the thanks. I do it for my own character and because of my own plans, basically. It's ineffectual what you do. This video you made is, is totally unconvincing to anybody. Uh, all you've done is, I poked a stick and play rope. Yeah, you better think about why that was important to you. In these arguments, I, you act as if you're winning some sort of, you know, contest to get, you know, internal battle of the personality. It's not about the personality. Well, actually, you were reading a comment of Tranquil, and he was asking me, uh, how do I, well, I'll, I'll read it here, because, um, you you decided not to read my answer, which is interesting. Let's see, I'm sure we can find it here somewhere. Um, okay. That's not the one. Let's go here. Oh, I see that's okay, the problem. There's no way I'm editing this. I don't know. You're just going to have to wait. I thought it was tranquil, but I found a C inside her. Oh, finally. It was at the top. Jesus. Okay. I don't even know how you do it. How can you discuss things with Gary on Stick'em after everything he has said about you and keeps saying he has absolutely no respect for you and despises you, blah, blah, blah. So, um, I answered, which you, you decided not to answer, because you're trying to cast me as Mr. Insulter Man when it's Gary. And you. And Gary more easy to take than you, because you're not original. Okay. I said, I have an estimation of how people feel from their behavior, which almost always involves conflicting behaviors. They have their estimation, which generally has carefully eliminated the contradiction, thus a disconnect from reality as they live it. Their philosophy, which is their worldview, is about some world besides the one they behave in, which is impossible. So I use my own estimation of what true feelings are at play. 
Plus, almost none of my values come back to how people think they feel about something. I don't find people very excellent navigators of their own feelings. Quite the opposite. Quite a few express a similar feeling, but don't. But I don't think they live by it. My self-esteem has been entirely disconnected from the esteem others hold me in for quite a long time, and it's the best thing I ever did for myself, probably. Okay, that's an example of actual discourse that you say in this video you want but you call me a child molester for 30 minutes because of some sort of dysfunction that you were dealing with unnecessary or some shit like that you know why is it explain to me why it's necessary I've i don't heard all of these number of names. i don't have to explain life isn't necessary life is not necessary you explain to me why it's necessary to stop it. Because most people feel pain. You know what? I think you might be generalizing from your own situation. And I think your idea of pain also might be a bit spoiled and not really be actual pain, but more like a feeling of self-pity. It's not enjoyable, but it's not quite the same thing. I'm a single fucking one of them. I say we should push the red button. And all that bullshit. So, <clears throat> you, you... Well, that's my problem with you, is that psychotic. The red button is the killing other people version, right? You don't have that right. You don't realize that? What are you, a Nazi? What are you, what are you Stalin? What do you not get about you don't have the right to push the red button on other people? What? You think you're liberal and you're concerned about the world, I don't believe it. I believe you're sorry for yourself and mommy won't put a cherry on your ice cream then you're going to eat up your fucking ice cream and say you have it just as bad as people that are starving to death. Yeah, I don't believe that. Okay? You want to push the red button? That makes you a homicidal, psychotic bastard. Okay, and that's not an insult. That is meant literally. If you really are going to say on the internet in public you want to push a big red button that ends it all for everybody and all life, you are a psychotic, homicidal, murderous prick. Okay? You're not a compassionate person. You are a homicidal bastard. Okay? So choose what you say carefully because it's not me saying you are that. It is you fucking saying that because you said I want to homicide everything on the planet. That's what makes you homicidal. I didn't say that for you. You chose to say that. So I guess I got the wrong moment of the tape because the, the, my note is about the kid gloves. You say you don't think I'm treating Gary with kid gloves. Well, I don't put Holocaust denier in my tags about him. I don't call him out loud that. Okay, he does do that to me. So I'm treating him more carefully than he treats me because, for example, Gary, uh, you know, Gary does have some strange ideas about what happened in Germany during the war. Um, but I don't feel like pouncing on that. I think it's just like um, a matter of getting the facts out and figuring that out if we want to discuss that issue. Okay, unlike Gary, who's jumped on child molester and child abuser, which I'm not. And by the way, early in this video, you're like, I don't even know what, what, what that guy means by it's so nice of Piro to tell them a better insult. That was the child, we'll get into this, but that was the child endangerment thing. I told you guys what would be an equally hyperbolic, but more apt insult. Because you're really bad at apt insults. You just think of, what might hurt someone, I'll say it. As opposed to something, the shape of which fits the reality. You don't care about that. Whatever on purpose, like it's some sort of game. It's not a game. It's basically you're losing the argument. That's all there is. To so say. it's not a game, but I'm losing. How about this? How about this? Long cat is long. How about you state the rules or get the fuck off? How about that? You, you, yeah, you see, I don't. I don't think Gary wants to have a meaningful friendship with Anton. Anton is really a fantastic oracle. He's not basically not even an atheist. In my so am I? Does that mean? 
the, the logic there sounds like, well, I'm not really phantasmagorical, I guess. Bleak meets and being my philosopher self, and it's like, what the hell? I, you know, you're, you're, don't you realize you're fucking imposing on me, ass? We're not imposing on you. How many times do I have to tell you when you're asking for real arguments? When you say that we've, we're not your parents, long cat. Your mommy and daddy, they're your parents. I'm not your parents. I didn't impose shit on you. I'm perfectly happy if a miserable person like you wants to not live. I find with that. I'm not saying you have to live. I believe in the right to suicide. We agree on that, but you're too stupid to realize, hey, we could start a coalition and actually get, uh, you know, a right to suicide. No, it's like, no, he's totally different from me. He's as different from me as the people that want him to starve in Africa. You know, you're a moron. You have to prove you care about that. You can't just say, well, I care about little problems. What it looks like to me is you care about your little misery and that it's not actually enough of a problem for you to go, the problem is uh, poisoned water and I'm being abused. You have nothing. But you're still miserable. Because all you wanted was Pepsi. I'm betting you didn't grow up too poor. Because that doesn't happen very often with really poor people when you have to struggle just to keep alive, you see. That's the difference. I had to work to enjoy my life. And that was a fair trade, I thought. And you're too lazy to work to enjoy your life. You're too lazy to enjoy your life if it takes work. If you... If you have to work, which means some hardship, then you don't want to enjoy life. Okay, I didn't have that choice. I had to work to enjoy my life, to enjoy my childhood. I wasn't given a fairy tale unicorn prince. A lot of this anti-natalism is like kids that were given a unicorn fairy tale, and then they find it's a lie. But I never was given that. I had to enjoy life by wanting to enjoy it. And I achieved that. No, it doesn't mean I don't know suffering. Suffering has come along anyway. But I know how to deal with it. Doesn't mean there isn't suffering I couldn't deal with. I believe in the right to suicide. Can you follow any of this? Long cat is a copycat. Yeah, I'm, let's just do what Gary does every single time. Don't call somebody by their name. Your copycat is long, okay? Neither of these people, Anton, nor Piero, nor Mark Lord, nor any of these other assholes. They don't, they don't actually acknowledge or try to debate. Well, I've been talking to Gary for four years, and I don't care how far up his butt you are, I'll bet I know him better than you. And I have debated with him. And if people debate, if you and I were boxers and you beat me, I know it's ridiculous, throughout our whole career, 10 year career, that would not make me not a boxer. All right? Serious first people that think they're a god handle on pure objectivity. You don't know basic fucking logic or reason in, in the natural sense. Forget technical formal logic, which obviously might as well not exist as far as your knowledge about it. But I mean just ordinary reason. You can't listen to things. You in this video are telling, I just wish we wouldn't have insults. Your child molester, you fucked hard. And you end it that way. Oh my god. You're miserable. That's what this is about. This is about you saying you're miserable on the internet. And not appreciating the attention you asked for and got. Which I don't blame you. I'm not intending that you would like it. I think you're a fucking asshole to even ask for this kind of thing. You make no new arguments whatsoever. No, no new insults even. I believe in the artistry of insults. I got a book upstairs of political insults. Great, great read. You suck at insults. You have repeated other people's insults and poorly. Right, it's been amended. I mean, I've, everything I've seen has been a, tr a trouncing on uh, an amended one. You know, they can't. You know, they don't. They refuse to accept their, that they can't. That they don't have a philosophical answer to it. 
So that's why Gary is mad because they he, they're continuing on as if you know it's some sort of stalemate or draw or unresolved question. It's not fucking unresolved at all. It's um, boy, you don't know the difference between opinion and fact. I think you should go back to kindergarten. For all I care, they can just go at it or whatever. It's not like they've done much productive thing, many productive things on YouTube as far as I'm concerned. This whole video is a mimicry where you try to mimic what Gary's insults are. Um, as if saying them the second time in a weaker, more, you know, Valium induce Vicodin sounding voice is gonna somehow work. No, you need to make up new things. Okay. Oh, okay. So they're saying it's basically it's not that bad. But this is basically, you know, whatever. It's talking about the cult accusation. Or if you let you, you give any of these people an inch, they'll take a fucking mile. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. The cult accusation isn't that bad. Bark Lord did it even handedly. You might not like what he was saying, but he was remarking on similarities and also said, well, not all of these are the same, and it's just similarities to be concerned about. You're not actually a cult. He said that. You are a moron. Because in this whole video, you think, well, it'll be better if I pretend he didn't make such a reasonable thing and it was just, a, just an insult. Except for we have access to all the videos, you fool. And the point is, it's not as bad as being called a child molester. Any group could be called a, a cult, especially if it's cliquish or in all type. Any group, any religion. Scientology. Some people call Scientology a cult because it is. But child molester is worse. Right? No? You don't think so? Because you're a hypocrite. You're a big, fat Copy long cat hypocrite. Okay. You could whine for a thousand years about how you will want to have to take what you give. Pray for rain. These stupid things, and they consider this a, a real response to antinatalism. I don't fucking think so. No, no, no. The cult accusation has nothing to do with antinatalism. We're not saying that the antinatalism of Mark Twain is. Uh, has anything to do with the way you guys act. Um, it's separate. It's like you could have a cult of, you know, pretty pictures, and all they make is pretty pictures, and it could still be a cult. That's what the accusation is. Of course, since you have difficult comprehension ability, um, he didn't say you were a cult. He said, look, this list of signs we use to recognize a cult some of them apply to you guys, and especially to you followers. You might want to think about that. That's what he said. And in every video I've made, I've said, well, he's not a cult, but I'm not going to defend you against that. And there's enough similarities to just listen. If you think I'm similar to a child molester, then, yeah, you guys have a, more similarities to a cult than that. So the standards have been set. You obviously are subject to this by those standards. censor him. He doesn't let his subscribers censor him. If you want to disagree with him, then fine. But if you're going to just say, oh, you're a cult leader, so therefore your argument is invalid. Mm. So, Gary is a symbolically a cult leader somehow because he makes a lot of... So here's where you get really confused. It's, just, it's a problem simple-minded people have. Um... We are not arguing whether you're a cult. My video is not about whether you're a cult. As a matter of fact, I say in the video, well, they're not really a cult. The video is about Gary came in to stick him and brought the subject up expecting me to defend him. That is fucking ridiculous. You cannot call somebody a child abuser and child molester, somebody that loves their children. And I've got custody of my children. My ex lives on this island. She doesn't. I have given a lot to my children and I want to give a lot to my children and you're gonna for four years if you're Gary uh, call me this name 
And I'm like blowing it off, like whatever, part of the argument, okay, you're hyperbolic, whatever. And, but, but then, and that's fine. You don't get this, because again, not too bright really, emotionally. But, and then you're gonna ask me to defend you against cult membership. I mean, I got accused of that. Nobody had to defend me. You make a real jerk of yourself in this video. The thing is, you're probably really nice to your dog or something. Because he makes a lot of videos and people are subscribed to him and people comment on it as well. And people say, oh, wow, that's a lovely video. You know, people who are... Oh, but this is where he's saying, I'm a cult too. Because he makes a lot of videos and people are subscribed to him and people comment on it as well. And people say, oh, wow, that's a lovely video. <coughs> you know, people who are subscribed to you. Do you, do you think through what you're going to say, copycat is long? I mean, do you think that I'm going to feel worse being accused right now of somehow being involved with the cult of my channel than I would be called a child molester? I'm an actual parent? Do you think... See, can't you tell which is the more you know, noxious accusation, you can Because there's no way that's going to be more hurtful or more of a concern to me than being called a child molester because I have children. Everybody that has children is a child molester, according to you guys. And that didn't bother me either. I've been letting that roll off my back for years. But I'm not going to listen how, to be a decent person, I need to protect Gary from the spurious accusation. Because I've seen a few spurious accusations from Gary. You haven't, because you're blind, philosophically. Because you're misery. Because of poor you and how hard your life is. Oh, I mean other people's lives are. Yeah, it has nothing to do with how you think of your life. With, you, with the child abuser metaphor, which is basically saying you created a, a need that didn't need to exist, basically. And so therefore, you've created deprivation. This is no where you get really reason. stupid. So, yeah. it, that sounds well, like freaking that. out about that this somehow. It, it's, it's, it, and we're talking about, you know, analogies and things like that, you know what I'm saying? It's just a fucking analogy, and you're... Calling me a child and dangerer, which is what you were talking about here. Oh my god, yeah, it's an analogy. In the video you just watched, I suggested, I suggested that, right? That that, that was apt. It was still hyperbolic, but that's what you're really trying to say. And that when you go into child molester, that, that's an arc. That's not apt. It's hyperbolic, but it's also pointless. It's meant to be ignored. It's off child endangerment. You want to say, hey, I think a child's endangering it in general because life is dangerous. Okay. That makes more sense. You're still fucking nuts. But, you know, that's what the commenter was talking about that said, I was awful nice to tell you a better, more apt insult. That you could use against me. Then you use it and you and then you say that well you're getting butthurt. I'm not butthurt about it. I wish you'd call me that because it actually makes sense and the conversation could continue. Insults don't have to totally stop the conversation if they're somewhat apt, even if they're hyperbolic, even if there's a few, you know, extra details. You know, I'm not a child in danger, as you had said in, in a reality full sense, but in the antinatalist sense there's an argument for that. So, uh, you know, extreme umbrage to ex anyone insinuating that I'm a child in danger or what in fact you are a fucking child. Okay, again, you stupid internet face. Okay, I brought that up. I s watched the video again, you foolish child. I said you ought to call me a child in danger. Okay, watch. Your reading comprehension is terrible. Oh wait, I'm sorry, your video comprehension is terrible. I'm only assuming your reading comprehension is equally confused. You are a child in danger. Hang on. 
you stopping? Like, why are you getting so butthurt? Because you are. You're stupid. Clickishness. So he's saying somehow that the clickishness of Admendum subscribers is more is unique. No, actually, I don't remember saying the word unique. So you're either a liar, or you're as uh, stupid as I think, or you have a, a, a problem with a reading comprehension that maybe you're still smart. I don't really know or care. I mean, this is, I can't believe, I, I really regret, you know, because I, I make commitments, even little things. And so when you made that comment, I'm like, oh, I'll go watch it and, and reply. Because I stupidly thought, oh, he must be asking that because he actually had a point. But no, the reason I hadn't replied is it's just, it's like a really slow version of the insults I've heard for fucking four years from the actual source. Why the fuck would I come to you? Or, you know, yeah, they don't think for themselves. Oh, oh. Fuck you. Fuck you, asshole. Well, we're 15 minutes into this video, copycat is long. 15 minutes into this video, what have you goddamn said of your own? What have you said that we couldn't all have seen through Gary? Or child endangerment? What have we seen that even my video didn't cover? You used the insults I was talking about in that video. You used insults of Gary. You have no... You do not think for yourself. You, if I had any notion that I had, uh, whatever, spoken out of turn about you followers, you proved it. You, in this video, do not think one erg's worth of energy any idea that isn't Gary's already. Salt of man. And I can take it, but just fuck you. Like, that's just demonstrated to me. Oh, poor baby. Oh, poor baby for you. Poor you. Oh, mommy, you put a cherry on your fucking forehead. Yeah, oh, I'm brainless, okay? Because you yeah. created a need that doesn't need to exist. No, you're brainless because uh, you, I mean, obviously you have a brain. It just can't think right. So you're brainless in the sense that, that you don't use your brain. It's, it's in there, I know. You're using it to breathe and pump blood and, and talk, you know, all of that stuff. But I mean for this kind of subject matter. Too much stop saying, oh, everything's fine with the universe. You know, that's, I, I think that it's a, it's a, you know, a cult that the majority of Well, this is part of you not paying attention, okay? We don't say the universe is fine. For example, Barclord went on to in various videos about how he's sympathetic to antinatalism and he appreciates it because he wants to cut down on population and slow the population growth and for that to happen certain individuals need to think hey I don't need to have kids okay so we don't say the universe is fine we're you know the Barklor, Das Boot, myself kind of side of this does not say Life is fine. We have plenty of cynical positions. So we don't say everything is fine. We say, or no, I'm sorry. I say, do something for the world, copycat, other than whine about you, your own life. We're not as interested as you think because you're privileged, okay? You're not having... You're not a baby with cancer or whatever the examples you guys like to do. Nothing like it. You've had a... I'm guessing you've had a... A fairly comfortable and protected life. More fucking cultish than, than, than people objecting to it. And this is a huge taboo, a huge risk uh, that people are putting out. We're not criticizing anatalism because it's a cult. As I said before, Mark Twain isn't a part of your situation. Get out of here. Sorry I protect my cats. Um, more important than this video. Though I never had to, my cat. 
Doesn't seem to have a problem. Anything could be a cult. Could have any idea. Separate from the idea, it's just your clickishness and you're using each other's insults. And you think it's okay to treat me inhuman, even though I'm a liberal, even though I, I work for uh, human rights and public peace, and there's no dispute about that and these ideas. Uh, you want to pretend we're a big difference. Because he says mommy doesn't owe me a cherry on my ice cream. He actually says I should feel lucky to have ice cream. He doesn't sympathize with my problem at all. Yeah, I don't. I, you know, who believes that, and you're going to definitely, uh, you know, be at odds with the rest, with, with the rest of folks, you know, in general. Oh, no, 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 no. See, he's saying, oh, if you're an anti-nihilist, you're going to be out of the group. You were out of the group before. Admit it. Okay? I was, too, and I knew it, and I wanted to be out of the group. I learned how to get out of the group. I hate being pigeonholed in groups. They expect you, hey, you're supposed to be sneezy. What are you being, you know, grumpy for? Oh, you're grumpy. We can't have two grumpies. We need exactly one grump. The fact of the matter is, Saying life is shit is the main core principle of Christianity. It comes from the Platonism. That's why some people say Christianity is Platonism for the masses, because the world is just a disgusting mess. You know, the teeming masses and they're disgusting. The world and dirt and hair, it's all disgusting and it's so dirty. We're much we're much higher than that. You are a neo-Christian, basically, when you want to trash the world, all right? That, that's a part of my historic motivation. You're not the first ones to say life is shit. Read some Nietzsche, because he has an interesting theory here. He says that the main question of life is to live it or not to be or not to be. And you can answer either way, it's fine, it's your decision. The problem is all the people that answer no, it's not worth living, and go on living anyway. Why? To finish their ice cream. Any fucking, you know, ra uh, rational, uh, basically basis for identifying what's a cult and what's not. You're just, you're just blowing. See, smoke. this is where you are. This is why I called you stupid earlier. It's not just a random insult. This is what makes me think you are actually making yourself stupid. Now, by making, I mean, I think you could be smarter, but you have this emotional need, so you'll find the facts however you can. And then that makes you stupid. Okay? I think maybe all stupid people, actually, they have human brains. They're probably just lying. And when you lie, you have to use three times as much space. you got to remember the lie, the truth, what you told the other person. I didn't make the cult argument. I just said I wasn't going to defend Gary against it. Barklord made that argument, and he specifically quoted from a list of criteria for recognizing cult-like situations. Just what you said he didn't do. You might want to know what you're talking about. I mean, many times in this video you go, well, I don't really know what that means. But blah, 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 you child molester. You, you, know, you might want to wait to know what something means before you opine on it. <laughs> oh, okay. So, wow, it's basically like you're equating, oh, my, my insults and this your is a good insults, one. basically. I'm equating my insults and your insults. I'm equating my insults and your insults. They're totally different. And well, my insults have fucking merit, you asshole. <laughs> oh my god, you're an idiot. You know what, everybody thinks that, and it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Once you say that I can make an insult as long as it's objective, well, it takes a while to make an objective proof. You probably don't know that. It takes a while. So that means you can put the insult on the table while you're proving it. Right? It means any insult goes, basically. You can insult, and then it doesn't get objectively proved, and you go, oh, okay, that one didn't get it. Right? <laughs> you did. Well, the difference is the mine are perfectly good at it. You're a hypocrite. That's the definition of it. You are a very ardent, absolutely cocksure that hypocrisy is morally correct. <sighs> I 
think there is a reason to say, yeah, uh, I can talk, and you can goddamn shut your fucking mouth. Well, there's also a good reason to... There's also a good reason to think you can fucking dream on, and good luck with that. I mean... Oh my god, you think there's a good reason to say that? <laughs> yeah, self-destruction. Around, I would just prefer if you if we didn't have anything calling on it. You're a liar. Okay, you can't tell me that's what you prefer. I know that's not true. All right, tell your mommy that that you believe it's okay to have ice cream with no cherries. You just want a cherry, but I'm not believing that hypocritical bullshit. Okay, I could see when someone loops back or spins in a little circle. You do not want to not insult. Just to have a fucking rational debate. A1, A2, uh, advancing the claims and refute, refutation and advancing of the argument. You, you, this whole thing's falling apart and you have taken zero interest in, in coming up with any uh, fucking workarounds using Google API or anything like that. You, you're supposed to be a programmer. And you've, yet you've shown no interest in making this debate format possible. You just, oh yeah, I wish that would happen, and yeah, that's really going on here. You know, and you're fucking jerking yourself off with this, with your own YouTube debate stuff. And see, I, I really think you, you, you do. You have, as a matter of fact, maybe I should be nice to you because I mean, maybe you're diagnosable because this is. Um, I don't. I'm formally educated in logic, and I work in logic. There's that aspect of what you said, but the stuff about the Google API, what, this video, I've been working for two months on an interface to YouTube, which I could give a shit if you like it or not. I mean, I'm making it for myself to use um, and letting other people use it if they want. And so I've been doing that and posting videos on it. And Gary's one of my beta testers. <laughs> so what are you fucking talking about? You are just, you just want to get something. <sighs> I could teach you how, but why? Why bother? Actually debated the argument. We didn't have this blowing smoke crap. We didn't have this wordsy fancy shit, fancy ass words bullshit. Maybe you're not a liar. Maybe you're just really not self-aware at all. You didn't have to insult me in this video. I many times have been insulted, specifically by Gary or in general, and chosen to just talk about the points. You engaged the insulting part of this video because you wanted to do that, and you're trying to be whatever you think it is that it, when someone is objectively making insults that have a good justification, and they are insulting me, oh, that's unfair. <laughs> Oh my god, you, you, you play in this, I mean, look, we've all heard it before, the reasons hypocrites think that it's okay to be a hypocrite, okay, and we're hearing them again. You can't say insult. you can't say we can't say insults, and we can say insults if you say insults, and it's like, what the hell, dude, just get back to the point, you fucking idiot. You didn't ever get to the point, this whole video. You didn't ever get to this, do you watch your own videos or remember, are you conscious? when you're making them, you've said the same thing. I can insult you, insult me first, don't start it, and by the way, mine are objective, and I can, well, ours are objective, you're a lot like a cult. And since nobody said you were a cult, they just said there's certain similarities, and then he showed an, a, 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 an academically created list and showed the similarities, that's fucking fact, man, that's, that's fact. Whereas I have never abused a child, molested anybody, child or not. So, you want to talk objective fact? There are some similarities between you and cults. On the other hand, to be fair, you won't hear this part, because you don't want to hear the part that isn't an insult. To be fair, any group, any group that knows it's a group and likes the other people in the group to some degree can be accused of being a cult. Not a big deal. However, not every parent can be accused of being a child molester, but that's what you do. So that's why you're a jerk. Okay, is anybody asking you to say that? I don't think so. Well, that's because you're stupid. I said in the video who asked me to do that. It was Gary, dear leader, asked me 
about that and said that I should be, you know, offended that Barklord would take it there. So that's what the video you're watching is about. Okay, you're not very bright. Again, I want to point out, you're probably real bright and can do a math problem, but when you're watching things, you're like, oh, no, that doesn't, he insulted it. He insulted me, I'll keep that. I insulted him, Gary insulted him. No, we don't. That makes you stupid because you filter the information you're willing to process so your brain can be genius. Maybe you're a super genius or an idiot savant or instead of just an idiot. But you're processing only a subset of the data that you're willing to see through your blinders. And I'm sorry, that adds up to you're stupid. Like smart program, bad input leads to stupid on the output case in point Child are you saying that all all anti-natalists believe that Piro 314 is, with super, is a fucking child so this is also another popular thing among hypocrites um, you call me a child molester in this video many times you call me that even after you acknowledge that child in danger is apt and you never defended that there was any aptness to molester and then you called me that and then to defend yourself you're saying not every antinatalist calls you that so you are in a cult you are in a group you're like well yeah but I'm just one of the group you can't say the group calls you that because so you personally call me that and instead of saying okay well I and here's why and this I'll defend myself you're like I will recede into the group now and let the cult, some of whom haven't called you that yet, defend me and represent myself. I am the cult. I am myself. I will come out and then I will go back in. You're not really doing much for making it look less like a cult. Okay? But let me repeat, it's not a cult. It's just a very cliquish, annoying group of people that frankly is dragging Gary down. He has a lot more interesting ideas. I have had friends that were anti-natalist because there's plenty among the, you know, from the low, lower the population to the, we shouldn't have the human race. The human race is a cancer. The human race is a parasite among activists. So I've known many people like that and it does not incapacitate them the way you guys are apparently incapacitating Gary to talk about other issues. I have some faith that Gary will break through that, realize the warm fuzzy of a pathetic group is not good enough, that he doesn't need that part of the emotion for his movement or to spread his ideas or his books. And you'll probably, a lot of you will be for a rude awakening. Without your dumb ass, you're just flailing around. Right, and you seem like a lethargic Vicodin Valium induced person, but it doesn't matter to me. I don't mind. I'm not even saying you really are doped up. You probably just are, are that way from your, from, you know, years of feeling sorry for yourself. You not accomplish much of anything, and you seem to be good at just that, just stalling and not, not, not willing to talk about the fucking argument. So if you want to prove that you are not the idiot you appear to be in this video then you will face the following two arguments one I am pro-choice that just does not mean I am for yes the grammar was weird there but it does not mean that I am for the right to kill the baby or the fetus or whatever it also means I'm for the right to not kill it I'm pro-choice the pro-choice argument fits perfectly because pro-lifers want to tell women what to do with their bodies and so do you in a modern secular society we've decided and agreed not entirely but by majority and that's sort of a philosophical consensus that women are in charge of that. It's their body. You don't believe that. Okay, that makes you sort of a fundamentalist, sexist jerk. The other argument is that you cannot reason from non existent beings. Existence means being. So you can't have a non being being. So your airtight logical arguments belong in a category of 
fallacies, which contain many, 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 many proofs, or alleged proofs, that show commonsensical thing, but step off the rails of logic. You cannot assume there is such a thing as a non-existent being in a logical argument, because if you assume a contradiction, that something can be and not be, you can prove anything. Study logic, buy a logic book. This is basic, basic, basic logic. Really basic. Okay, it's like you don't know what logic is if you don't know that fact. Okay, look it up. Yes, it's a, it's a little bit consuming, you know why? Because it basically comes down to, yeah, what is the meaning of life? If there's no demonstrated innate meaning of yeah, but antinatalism doesn't have to be all-consuming because the reason you get to that conclusion is things like, oh, there's malaria in Africa, so you could work on lessening the malaria in Africa. But then you guys go, well, what's the point? And that's the sense in which it's all-consuming. Meanwhile, we have two wars to stop. We have an infrastructure in this nation to rebuild. We need clean water in Africa. We've got a lot of shit to do. And your whining is not helping. Okay? But it's the only solution. No, it's not a solution because it's not going to happen. It's causing a whole bunch of mental and emotional and physical problems for everybody every, all the time. I'm not at so you're talking about DNA. Here's my little message to you. I am the DNA. I consider that I am the DNA. I am. It grew me, so I'm the DNA in the same sense that this is my finger. I grew it. I'm the DNA. It grew me. That's why you guys blame me for your existence. Because I speak for the DNA. The problem, I'd say, is the problem of planet Earth. I don't see any other planet. There are no other planets with life. Oh, see, this is the level of your objective reasoning. I guess you're an astrobiologist that didn't get educated. What you said has absolutely no truth value to it. It's just your opinion with no facts whatsoever presented or possible or available. That's your kind of logic and rationality and reason. And if that's how you define those things, where you could say if something like that and it's supposedly all of those things, then I'm fine with, by your definition, not being that. But by traditional definitions and by my own definitions, I am rational and reasonable and logical. So why would I care about you when you obviously don't have a clue about how this stuff works? But more, more than that, how can we basically get people to acknowledge that, yeah, life is shit and just vote to work? But it seems like people are programmed like Puro to believe, oh no, like sprinkles and pan pancakes and all this fucking fantastic shit in this world. You know what? Uh, you know what? This is a bullshit. Um, really I'm a it, it, I'm a much better cynic than you are. I, I'm I'm positive of that. I know more of what's wrong with the world than you do. You just want to bitch and moan. You're like, well, I've learned all I need. It's bad. I'm against it. I actually know many of the things that are actually wrong with the world and I'll bet you don't I'll bet you don't okay I am claiming to be a much better cynic than you I believe that your desire for there to be a unicorn fairy world is why you're so disappointed with West one but I don't even expect that I don't even want a world like that I like a world with friction and mud, dirt and wind, and storms and sun and beach and desert. That's the big right. And there is a reason to right because you're continuing this experiment that doesn't need to goddamn continue. So that's why it's fucking consuming. Okay, so that's a fucking insult to me, I guess, because I do watch Gary videos and shit like that. Yeah, fuck you, asshole. Fuck you. This is you taking the high road, right? And and I just want to end of insults, man. Just because someone insulted you, Pure, doesn't mean you have to insult me. Fuck you. Oh my god.
God, it's pathetic. You should be spending your time figuring out why you're a child molester. I shouldn't figure out why you feel that Mark from the backside is all. You should figure out why you're a fucking child molester. Okay. Uh. We already went through why the proper thing that actually fits with your arguments is dangerer. You jump to molester, why? Because it sounds worse. Is that what you think logic means and rationality? I don't like somebody. Therefore, it's logical to throw in a, a, an accusation at them I don't really actually believe and can't justify. It's logical. If you don't like someone, you lie about them. Totally logical. I mean, logical. How could you deny my logical argument? <laughs> oh my god. I'm educated in logic. Okay, and I use logic for a living. I mean, you can't affect. You can't make me think what you do is logical. All right, it's impossible. It is not logical. I know a hundred different definitions of logic from natural language down to technical and different kinds of logic. And I'm not going to think that's logical, dude. When you're a hypocrite and, and, and you insult and say, you know what, insult, just because you get insulted doesn't mean you got to throw it back. Why do you go there? And then you go there. I mean, you, oh. sometimes I just wonder, like, how deluded are you type of arguers or are you well is the delusion just that you think you'll have an emotional impact on me or do you actually believe this is is has reason in it do you even know what reason it do you have you ever have you ever taken one of your ideas and like put it on paper or just thought about it somehow to to see how it fits together I don't get the impression you know at all. I get the impression that you, you wanted to cherry on your ice cream and you've been whining about it. And you hear somebody else has a logical argument and you go, see, there's logical arguments. Have you checked it? No, I don't have to. It's logical. All right. said there's no such thing as a fucking positive experience. So what the fuck? You should think about that, please. Well, just because you don't think that you've had one doesn't mean there isn't one. I've had them, and guess what? So have you. You just don't want to call it positive because it didn't have two cherries on top. <laughs> Not fair. Your values are all screwed up. I care about the people that are sick, the kids that things up the way, so let's kill everything. And you're trying to bless her. Okay. Well, I'm not going to play that whole clip, but then he says, that was an admission. Somebody should save that clip. I still don't know why. I mean, I'm saying from in your voice. Uh, how the, okay, we've already established that you have no listening comprehension, so shouldn't take too much about you having random ideas about things I said since you didn't really understand or hear what I said. So okay, just go on up here. Oh, well, that's that's just a such a flub and. You, that would be so embarrassing. That's so embarrassing. I don't even know what the fuck that's in regard to. So I was talking about that, that the meanest thing about Bark Lord's uh, video was just that, you know, it was a fan video that Pink had made to Gary, and, and I had said, well, if I made a fan video to someone I was a fan of, and they happen to have a channel on YouTube, I used Jimi Hendrix, so it would be somebody really great, I'd probably gush. It'd be a little embarrassing. Um, but what I want to say here is that... Um, copycat long I think you should probably st you said this many times I don't understand what that's about and then you go on to talk about it and again I'm just gonna have to say you might want to try to understand things before you opine on them really I think it'd be better you know I mean that's what I do but if that's really the thing that care about then god damn it you don't know something. well I don't care about it because I'm not a drone I don't have to worry about being embarrassed about being some kind of bootlicker fanboy the uh, fact is I, I uh, when I do act that way uh, like there's a band I really like now I, I made some sort of fanboy comments about how great they are in some of their videos and uh, I'm not embarrassed by it because I really feel that way Oh, this is, this is an appropriate way to treat someone with that group, and you don't have... Okay, nobody is goddamn saying that. That's just more projection. 
Yeah, um, so the point there was that uh, your group needs to be protected and you can insult whomever you like. Yeah, people are saying that. I've seen Gary rail on people, including women, including new users, and he's never thought twice about it. And then he defends Pink because well, she's just a new YouTuber and she was just saying how her day was. It was a day vlog. It's hypocrisy. We just happen to have fucking truth on our side, and we're very, we're being pretty goddamn boisterous about it. On wow, you should read some more history to find out about all the good company that you're not keeping um, by thinking that you can do in, you know, just things that you disapprove of being done to you. Because the truth is on your side. Um, psychotic. Okay, you don't, Yeah, I don't give a fucking rat's ass, asshole. You only chose to make it a, a drama style video. Right? Um, well, you don't pay too much attention to what's in the video, so I, I will repeat. Uh, Gary had screamed at me in Stickum about being a child molester when I complained that he had called me a child abuser, which was, you know, no worse to get called a cult member. So then he called me objectively a child molester in Stickum, so I sort of think it was already dramatic. You're fucking do whatever. Whatever, okay? Fuck you, asshole. Yeah, man, you really want to stop those insults, don't you? You're a joke, man. But uh, I don't go by first impressions, so if you want to get your act together, uh, it'll be like a whole new chance with me. I, I just don't do... The, I'm not going to forget the first impression. But I know about statistics, so it doesn't really matter. If you, if you up your act and actually bring up a point and have a thought that seems original and your own uh, and, and just even a little bit like you've watched the video you're replying to in a, a cognitively tempting and able to understand just a little part of it it won't matter that you made such a big idiot of yourself this time